Martin Eberhard is convinced that cars can be powered by batteries alone. He's the founder of Tesla Motors, and his electric sports car is built to prove electrons are a hands-down winner over gasoline. Gasoline engine is terribly inefficient. It's you know, below 20% efficient, typically. An electric car like ours is you know, in the neighborhood of 85% efficient. It's, it's that kind of difference. So it would be like 135 miles to the gallon equivalent. Yeah, big difference. In a car that does zero to 16 four seconds. The Tesla Roadster can go 250 miles on a single charge, but it takes a lot of batteries to go even that far, and they come at a price. Tesla Roadster costs $92,000 right now. Um, you can buy options and spend more if you like. The, the great big hairy goal we have is to create the next great American car company. It's insane, right? I mean, we're up against some big guys out there. The first 600 roadsters are being handmade overseas. At Tesla headquarters in Silicon Valley, engineers are refining hardware and software for the next more affordable model. A lot of the complexity that you find in a typical car has moved out of mechanical things and into electrical things and software. The mechanics of the Tesla are stunningly simple. The electronics module is the brain that controls the battery pack, which accounts for about a third of the cost of the vehicle and powers a 75-pound motor that drives the rear wheels. If you look in a motor, there's one moving part, and that drives a very, very simple transmission. But to make that motor do its thing requires a, a fairly large box of fairly sophisticated silicon and a lot of software behind it to make it to do a, what it needs to do. So a large amount of the drivetrain development was you know, pretty natural to do right here in Silicon Valley. The power supply is filled with lithium-ion batteries that have revolutionized portable computers and electronics. Well, first of all, lithium-ion batteries are just the best battery technology today. Lithium is uh, readily uh, available and fully recyclable. The significant advantage with lithium-ion is not a heavy metal, so in the handling process, you don't have a health hazard. It's already broken. They have it on the lift. <laughs> <laughs> Practically, the first thing we put in this building was the lift. Yeah, we have the same lifts in our shop, except ours are all covered with grease. Where's the grease, Martin? <laughs> Where is the grease? <laughs> this is a grease-free grease shop. So this is all carbon fiber body, and even the structure behind you can see carbon fiber. Mm. So, so is it, this is the this is the battery That's pack, right. and, and it's it's got little little batteries. It's got quite it. a few little batteries. Yeah, I want yeah. to have one here. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like that. Just like that. And how many of these are in there? 6,831, approximately. How do you write that? <laughs> <laughs> you round it off to 7,000. I, mean, I don't mean to throw a wet blanket on yeah. the whole issue here, but I know there was some talk about some laptops that were mm -hmm. catching fire. Yep. Uh, we were actually quite concerned about what would happen if one of these batteries were to catch fire. Uh, early on, and we, we uh, set about uh, designing the battery pack so that if one battery catches fire, it doesn't set the neighbors on fire. What is it about lithium ions that makes them so special and makes them so different from other batteries? Energy density. How much energy can I fit into a small package? Lithium-ion batteries are about four times the energy density of, of previous car batteries. And that's a phenomenal difference. That's like four times bigger gas tank. Um, so that's where the driving range comes from. It, it comes at a price today. Um, but uh, I think that uh, the driving range is one of the most important things to make electric cars um, become acceptable. I'm in. Put your seatbelt on. Yeah. Say your prayers. You don't mind if I don't look. <laughs> Perhaps foolishly, Martin lets his multi-million dollar prototype out of sight without a chaperone. See you. First time driving? <laughs> Tom's next car might be a two-seater with no tailpipe, if he's got the money. You know, we could probably be in Mexico in about two hours with this car. <laughs> Pushing the envelope of technology always brings a cost. But if alternative vehicles are going to curb our oil addiction, they must be sold not by the hundreds, but by the millions at an affordable price.